What's up there YouTube? Today I want to show you uh, probably one of the most simple and easy rearings that I've done before. Let's open up this container. There, this, this aux is Ancilla, which is a species that comes from Turkey, Armenia and other places. So what we see here, if we take a closer look, we see a container which is basically full of um, trash. That's because instead of cleaning their rearing container, I just kept adding more and more plants. And then I let it dry out, so I did not have to clean or replace the old plants. I just left them in there for all their lives. And it doesn't bother them because this is a very tiny and small species that can stand dry environments. So all the leaf litter is just a good hiding place for them. Uh, there are plants in here like bramble, rubus, which they appreciate. But one problem is the caterpillars are very small, so they're going to be difficult to show you. And they also hide completely at the bottom of this container. So I hope I will find any of, at all to film. Oh yeah, there they are. Uh, I hope you can see this one. But it's really all about this tiny thing here. See this tiny larva? And it looks ridiculously small. And it is ridiculously small because it's also a very small moth. So let's see what else is in here. It's really difficult to find them or judge how many of them have pupated. I just keep adding more food. Because maybe we should remove some of these paper towels if there aren't any larvae in it. Sometimes they like to hide. Oh yes, there they are. See? Here's one of the caterpillars. As you can see they can move really fast. And they will eat almost anything like dandelion, bramble, cherry, willow. They don't care. As long as it's green they'll eat it. Really, really simple. This is probably one of the most easy species I raised in my life. At some points I even neglected to take care of them and even if you ignore them for a while they'll, they'll thrive really. I think this is a very strong species. It comes from such dry, dry barren areas with scarce habitats. It can stand drought and starvation or this and that. It's basically almost a desert species. As for the adults, um, adults are already hatching. Put one apart here because for the, I want to keep it separate from the larva to get pairings. But it's a really tiny moth. It's a really tiny species, so probably one of the smallest species that I showed you before my YouTube channel. Here it is. It's a tiny brown moth. Uh, it belongs to the family of tiger moths, by the way, the Arctidae. And it's it's let's take it. Take a look. Probably going to attempt to fly away now. Yep. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it's also very awake right now because we disturbed it. But really didn't like the way I opened its container. Probably shook it around a little bit. Uh, now, here's the problem with small moths. It's really difficult to get on camera. Oh, well, there we go. At least for now. What I like about it is, is it has some like this iridescent golden metallic look. I don't know if you can see it, but wings are slightly shiny. I hope I can make it walk on on the stick here. Come on, little one. Let's convince it. Yes, yes. No, 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 don't. Yes, go up. Good. I hope my camera will focus on this thingy. It will. Now you can get a good look. Oh. Right. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Oh man. What a job. Here you can get a good look at this shiny golden metallic, well whatever it has. 
probably one of the most easy and also unremarkable species I've bred before. To be honest, it's so small and it's really brown, kind of bland. It's also easy, so it's not really a challenge to breed. But uh, well, I study tiger moths as a family too, so I guess I don't want to miss out on a species like this. Plus, the eggs were sort of cheap, really. Woo, hello there, guy. You're staring back at me. It doesn't look very amused by all my attempts to film it. So yeah, there you have these auxes. What's interesting, this genus is interesting because there are a lot of new species hidden in there still. I mean, if you go probably to the Middle East or Asia, there's a few uh, these auxes populations that really don't fit into uh, all the species that we already know. <coughs> So they're probably new species, but uh, nobody is describing that yet. Because that's difficult and takes a lot of time and reading. And not many people are into tiny moths like these. But um, I can tell you for sure that more of these auxis species will be described in the, feature, in the future. I've seen specimens of them and that, are, that made me like go like, what the hell, what's this? It's not really a species that's found in literature yet. So... Ah, I guess the camera work is really terrible because it's really, it gets difficult to do. I don't have much experience making videos of such small species, but it's probably one of the smallest species I bet. Really easy, effortless. Kind of boring to be honest. I gotta be real honest here. I mean, try to be enthusiastic about all the insects that I show, but um, it's it's kind of an unremarkable thing too. So thanks for watching anyways. I mean, I couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't miss out on a single species. I'm probably going to breed all the other Dysauxes too. Boring as they seem. I'm still going to breed them because I love these families. And you know, if you want to be a good entomologist, it's not about, it's not about only looking at the prettiest and most rare exclusive species. Sometimes you got to appreciate the common stuff that's where a lot of knowledge is at at the most obscure understudied things thanks for watching until next time